All right, we're moving on. Speaking of former foes. All right, Jay, what did I miss? <sighs> Nothing much, you know, just a nice, oh, a nice, man. good, you know. What Richie's back. Fight. Speaking of my former foes. Oh. Mr. Cupcakes. A guy you know Mr. very Cage well. Mr. Cage himself coming to the cage. I believe Aaron Lacey is coming out right now. First up, we got Aaron Lacey coming to us from No Stoke MMA. Two great camps. The main event is here. Coming to us with a 7-2 record. Been a while for Aaron since yeah, he entered he took, the cage uh, again. He took some time off, I believe. But he was on a roll when he was, you know what I mean, before that little hiatus he took. Yeah, he was definitely doing guy. well. Good matchup, excellent matchup. Yep. Is that 35? So, 45. 45. So Johnny's moving up a weight class. So that'll be interesting. I, I was going to say, because I know Aaron is usually a 55. Oh, I understand. I believe oh, I he fought a 55. Again. Interesting, okay. Got Coach Devin Powell right there in his corner, as always. Devin's got one arm. You know? Doesn't, doesn't take away from his coaching ability. Doesn't, does not stop him, you know? Excited for this main event here, man. Super excited. You know, I've been Ooh. talking about my, my ex enemies all night. I do love watching Mr. Cupcake's fight. It is quite entertaining all the time. Yeah, you got to share the cage with Cupcakes. So I did. You I have did. some insight there. Oh, it's been a long night of fights. We saw a little bit of everything. Grappling, Muay Thai, MMA. I mean, every fight is delivered, though. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's been a, a tremendous card. Every fight has delivered. Johnny Cupcakes Campbell about to enter the cage with his trademark walkout song. Yeah, here he comes. Only came for the cake. Here's the cage, Titans himself coming out. A staple in New England MMA for quite a long time, Johnny Cupcakes. Here he comes. What stinks about like local fights like this is by the time it gets to the main event, the only people left in the stands are the people who came to see the two in the main event. <laughs> That's Which terrible. is silly because they're missing out on such it, a without a doubt. Exactly. Without a doubt. But that being said, there's still a lot of people here for these two. Oh, sure. 100 percent It's not about that. It's about I mean, the level gotta, of fight. You, you gotta know? appreciate the level of talent of that we have up and down the card. Without a doubt. Johnny has fought everybody. Johnny has fought literally anybody you can think of. His last big win coming off of Henry Corrales, a staple in uh, Bellator MMA, knocked him cold out. You know what I mean? And Johnny, in his new resurgence, as he calls it, is, yep. has become much more aggressive and a finisher. He has been finishing left and right. He either finishes or he gets finishes. Now, either yep. way, yep. Every, every fight is entertaining. It doesn't matter. He's going to come there. He's going to try and finish one way or another. He's unpredictable, and he's willing to try dangerous things. This is Johnny's 36th professional appearance in the cage. Just a walk in the park for him, another day in the office. I mean, at know? this point. At a certain point, at a certain number of fights, it's just another day. And Johnny is the epitome of that. He has fought everybody, a who's who in New England, outside of New England, Bellator, the the World Series here. of Fighting. Yeah, yep. without, without a doubt, Jay. And the tail of the tape here, I mean, nothing really stands out to me greatly. There's a three-inch reach advantage, three-inch height advantage for Aaron Lacey. Johnny's four years older. That reach Six. advantage doesn't mean much because Johnny closes the distance so, so well. So He's quickly. He's forward the whole way. We're going to go to Andy for the introduction. One last time. Ladies and gentlemen, all ringside officials are ready. Our referee for this matchup, Kevin McDonald, is ready. Both of these fighters are ready. Those in attendance here, if you are ready for these main event warriors, Plymouth, Massachusetts, let them hear you! Let's go! 
This professional featherweight matchup is scheduled for three rounds, five minutes apiece. Introducing to you first, standing in the red corner, holding a professional mixed martial arts record of seven victories and two defeats. He stands five feet nine inches tall, and he weighed in at 145 and one half pounds. From Bangor, Maine, by way of Summersworth, New Hampshire, he's representing Nostos. Let's hear it for Aaron Relentless Lacey. And now, introducing his opponent, standing across from him in the blue corner, holding a professional mixed martial arts record of 21 wins and 14 defeats. He stands five feet six inches tall, and he weighed in at 145 and one half pounds. From Plymouth, Massachusetts, he's representing South Shore Sport Fighting. Let's hear it for Johnny Cupcakes. Campbell! And our main event and, uh, is about to get underway. Bruce Buffer, beware, because Andy is coming for that job, baby. Big fan, big fan. Look at that, right with here. the James Brown hit. The, that was fantastic. All right, let's get it. Aaron Lacey in the black and green shorts, red gloves in the red corner. Johnny Cupcakes Campbell needs no introduction, but he's in the not black and green shorts. Looks like space travel. Looks like space shorts. Oh, yeah. That big overhand's line. a big thing. Yep. Johnny lands that at will. It might seem wild, but he knows where to put that thing. Johnny coming out super aggressive. Aaron's taller, which is fine as far as the reach Johnny's goes, but as far as, as far as power goes, Johnny has the advantage being the shorter guy. The leverage dictates that he's oh, better going there's a big one. There. He's going to keep right. doing that. That big overhand, those overhands are big. There it is, nice takedown. takedown. I haven't seen Johnny shoot so much in his oh. last one. Oh. Big power there, watch the guillotine Aaron, coming in here. Yeah, Aaron Lacey might have it. For that. Looking for that gu uh, guillotine. Johnny working towards it, going towards that other side. Aaron might have his hands here, he's working Johnny, the hands. Johnny yep. working the hands, knowing that that's a threat. Yep, yep, that's good nice. takedown though, watch Johnny. the watch the rise. Aaron a good grapple Johnny. himself, good with the Very hips. Very good hips. Yep, right over to the mouth. Johnny might finish this quick. There we go. Nice way to get back to half guard, making sure he doesn't give up mount there. Johnny just setting a pace on Lacey right now. As he does, he's very wild. Not that he's wild, but he pushes on you. He is going to push the pressure the whole time. It Five appears rounds, three wild. Rounds. It appears wild, but there's method to his it's madness. Methodical. He knows what he's doing. Correct. He's testing you. Those overhands test you, and then he puts on his pressure. Without he's a doubt. Always going forward, Johnny. Doing a good job there, keeping on his toes. Aaron's got his feet in the hips. He's got to push away a little bit because open water Johnny, he's got a better chance of here landing some ground and pound. Johnny's comfortable from this position. Second up, Aaron trying to keep his posture down. Trying to pass Johnny, and he does. There it is, pass the side control. Good pass, good pass. Now he's going to try to pass the mount. There yep. it is. Great. Very nice mount. Grappling good display grab. here. He's going to try for the crucifix here. He's got the crucifix. Crucifix is up. Oh, he doesn't have it. Aaron's got the angle, but he's yeah. working for it. That's the thing. He's working towards it. He's going to go there. Ah, oh, he catches the There it is. Aaron's, oh, Aaron's throwing he a good might job. have it. He's curling into him, keeping his head tucked so he can't get the elbows down. Johnny's working towards that, though. He's going to go for the arm bar. Look at that arm isolated on the top there. Ooh. Aaron's being defensive, but Johnny is looking for something hurt to hurt him, for Lacey sure. He's doing a good job He's of uh, working off his back. Good his passes. Back. Good pass, good quarter guard pass. There it is, right there. He's going for, uh, to isolate that arm. He's going to go for the, for the Kimura. Johnny is so relentless on yep. top. Yep, he's going for that arm. Watch for the, yeah, there, good elbows. That's exactly elbows. what he wants, and the crucifix is there. Oh, he's looking Crucif for that key lock. That, that, uh, that, that. Uh, Shin keeping that elbow lock, switches the hips, good uh, transition. Might have this Americana. Switches the hips, good stuff. I said he's going to isolate that arm. Watch for the triangle. He could switch to an armbar here too. Oh. Nice Two elbow. minutes, we got a lifetime here. Oh man. This, a lifetime of time here. Good news. Aaron's got to move, Aaron's got to be explosive. Lacey, come yeah. out, he's going to try and come out the back. He's going to give up his back carry. Uh, Johnny's got very good top control. Johnny's one of those people that uses ground and pound very well. He's not afraid to posture up and keep going. He'll, he'll work for the submission with his strikes. Yep. So it, it looks like John's going for the head and arm or to isolate yep. that arm. He's yet those strikes open that up. 
Watch it pass to the other side. Watch this. He's going to turn in. Oh, take Aaron's going to take his back. Yep. He might take his back. Oh, Johnny Styles to ground and pound, though. I really feel like he'll go for the finish for the TKO here. Looks like Aaron's bleeding already. Of course, that elbow, those elbows have cutting him up over oh, for sure. Aaron's got to fight the hands. This might be over before it started. Oh, he's working he's getting ready to tap. Kid. He's getting ready to tap. He's leaking now. He's turning into the choke. It's a smart move. Watch the elbows coming down. Aaron's got to move here. Dominant round for Johnny. I'd even give this a 10-8. Leaking from the top of that forehead Ooh, there. Might that, be that above the eye open. there. Ooh, that's Might be more cut. than one cut, honestly. He's hit him with a few nick and a few of those nick and elbow. He's turning, he's doing the right things. He's just staying out of trouble. He's taking damage, but he's not getting finished here. This is a three round fight, correct? Correct. Yes. Aaron's doing just enough to stay out of trouble. 40 seconds here. Blood in both of his eyes now at this point. It's a bad spot. It's in a bad spot right above the eye line. I think he's got two cuts, honestly. Yeah, that blood is Those are the cuts they look too. very yeah, close to close. Right above the eye, but the ones that bleed into your eye, yep. that's what matters. It affects the vision. John has been pinpoint with his elbows, his, his pressure. Aaron back to transitions. a full guard, though. He's defended well, but like I said, Johnny just seems to be a step ahead here. He's doing, he's dictated the pace of this entire round here. Now, Johnny, being a veteran, here's the bell. I was looking for him to kind of posture up and get real active there, but Aaron doing a good job. Johnny knows he won the round. He's, yeah. he's, he's not going to expend any more energy than he has to. You yeah, know what I mean? That's, that's the veteran move right there. He saw he didn't hear the 10 and started going nuts. Yeah, yeah. He was already winning the round. He knew he was ahead. He's going to take the time, rest. Oh. Aaron top is, position. Oh, they, the doctor's got to take a good look at For that sure. cut. That is bad. That is a, ooh, that's a good one. It might just be the blood splatter, but I think Maybe. above the eyebrow, if it's right in the eyebrow, that right. might be a problem. Johnny doing a really good job. All, all all around, first round, Johnny, like I said, uh, ten eight. Uh, Aaron doing, I would even give that a 10-8, just be just pure, there was not a single point where Aaron was really threatening or um, put Johnny in any kind of duress. Johnny was coming completely with all that, and I would give it 10-8 yeah. Aaron, Aaron has, Aaron's gotta, uh, you know, he's gotta earn Johnny's respect. He's gotta slow him down. And he's Johnny on the feet. Something. Yep, Johnny on the feet, throwing haymakers too. Right. It's making Aaron hesitant, which is exactly what why Johnny does that. You have to, he does that. He, he throws bad intentions with his overhand. They're stopping it. That cut is too bad. They're going to stop it. And that is the fight right there. Yeah, I'm, I, I just got a good look at that yeah, cut. That's it a good was right over the eye, was deep. I, honestly, I don't normally say this. I think it's the right call for the doctor there. Yeah, I mean, that was... Uh, his skin is starting to hang over. You know, there's nothing you can really do about that. Aaron Lacey, unfortunately, not the way... We wanted this one to go, not the way Johnny wanted to win, but Johnny Cupcakes with a dominating top game gets the job done. Ultimately, it was the uh, the ground and pound and the big elbows. Big elbow caught his brow, and Aaron Lacey just cut open a huge gash. On Ladies his brow. and gentlemen, head on across the street, Tavern of the Wolf, the official Cage Titans 52. After party. All right. Kevin McDonald has called a stop to this contest in between rounds at the advice of the ringside physician. Giving you your winner, by Dr. Stoppage, Jenny Cupcakes. <laughs>